You are welcome to the Evergreen Church in now. Today, we shall be giving you series of things. The first aim to be taken is to worship the king. The story behind O Worship the King. O Worship the King was written by Robert Grant. He was born in India in 1779. The son of the East India Company's director, Charles Grant, who was a man associated with Clapham sect, that is a group of evangelical social reformers from Clapham in England. He wanted to learn from the writer is that he was a practitioner, law practitioner, a member of parliament, and a governor of Bombay in 1834. Yet, a supporter of world missions and an influential person among evangelicals in the Church of England. So with all his political offices, Robert Grant served the law. The reading of Psalm 104 prompted Robert Grant to write his own version as the Psalm in form of him, O Worship.
is titled One Love to Be O Christ. The words of this song were composed by Elizabeth Prentice, born in 1818. She was a famous author and composer of poetry and wrote books. Her life was however full of difficulties and troubles. She had a body wrapped with pain that made her almost an invalid. This song arose out of tragedy for the Prentice family where she lost her two children, one after the other, in a short period of time. According to Elizabeth, the words were inspired by Sarah Adams' hymns, Nearer my God to thee, as she grieved her children. Elizabeth passed away at the age of 29 in 1878, and her song, More Lord to thee, O Lord, was sung at a funeral. In the preface of the book, the life and letters of Elizabeth practice are a word, which is much of my experience of life has cost me a great price and I wish to use it for the <laughs>